Wow, this music kind of sucks. Hey folks, I'm Mysterious JG, and welcome back to Let's Play WWE 2K16. And, um, do I got weird audio issues here? Or am I... No. My audio is pretty normal. I was going to start the video by going, Oh no, not me. I never lost control. I go face to face. With the man who stole gold standard at the world. Doo -doo 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 -doo. But then I didn't, so. Luckily, you didn't have to endure that. Anyway, I guess all the stuff we unlocked at the end of the last video we're unlocking again this time. And once again, I'm in actually a similar circumstance. I've caught myself with enough time to record just one video. So, let's record just one video. And that video will at least begin with the two man power trip versus the Brothers of Destruction. And, uh, oh god, I hope this doesn't, I hope this is not one of the, um, I hope the intro movies for this, I must, I might have skipped past them, but this also might be one of the ones that, uh, I'll have to go back and censor footage again. We'll see. Anyway, Backlash 2001, winner take all tag match for the WWE Tag Team, WWIC, and WWE Championships, Two Man Power Trip versus the Brothers Destruction. Uh, all the major titles are on the line, something's gotta give. Let the body hit the floor. Let the body hit the floor. Etc. So we got Evil Darkness King Stone Cold. Why this way? Why not this shoe? Or woo? Or sponges? It wasn't entirely out of character for Steve Austin to just tell the crowd that they didn't care about them, but... Some pretty funky music there. For some reason, I feel like this is music from uh, Bionic Commando Rearmed. Picture Stone Cold Steve Austin swinging around on a bionic arm. Uh, Or in the two-player mode of that game, you could have Stone Cold Steve Austin and Triple H. Yeah, on the long list of games Bobo and I have talked about Let's Play together that we haven't gotten around to is Bonnet Commander Rio. So. To end... Rockamania, I guess. And again, I don't know if this uh, footage will get censored, so I might as well say he threw a Muppet off a bridge! You see, you never say no one can stop us in wrestling. That's kind of like like any time Vince McMahon would say, That's Stone Cold Steve Austin. He hasn't got the guts to come... Oh, there was King Haku. He hasn't got the guts to come out here. Pretty much guarantees that you're going to get attacked by Steve Austin. And yet he did it all the freaking time. I felt so bad when Edge and Christian lost the tag titles to the Brothers of Destruction. I like Ted and Christian. Although, you know, losing to the Brothers of Destruction is not a big deal. It's like losing to Ditka on a super fan sketch. They're kind of unbeatable monsters. Although, I believe we will probably find a way to beat them here, because I do not recall. Maybe take. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe they uh, got the single settles here. Kane and the Undertaker. The no, we didn't get our regular intros. And Triple H. So much on the line here. I guess they didn't want to do Undertaker riding around on a motorcycle. This game does a pretty horrible job with vehicles, actually. Oh, there's Stephanie. Young Stephanie plays it safe. Although, not really, because there is some risk involved with cosmetic surgery. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's 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 mean and it's petty, but it's true. If you go look at Stephanie uh, when she first debuted as a character, and you look at her uh, in later years, she had some work done. She's a pretty girl uh, when she was younger. Still a very attractive uh, woman, but um, yeah, it's a very specific type of surgery that is rather apparent that it took it stops on it. It's her call if she wants to do that, you know. Let's let's just leave the main event of this pay-per-view. I'm sure nothing will happen. Oh my goodness! 
They are being attacked in the aisle. Be nice if we got to play as the Brothers of Destruction just to break up the monotony a bit, but I believe we will be playing as Stone Cold. Stone Cold. And there's a weird part of me, I hope nobody will think too ill of me, but I want to see if you get DQ'd for attacking Stephanie. Oh no, we are playing as the Brothers of Destruction. Are we? Wait a second. No, we are not playing as the Brothers of Destruction, so I should probably be trying to not get beaten up here. But part of me wants to see what happens if you physically strike Stephanie, because in the more recent 2K games, that's an automatic DQ. And I'm hitting the wrong buttons. Okay, folks, call me a misogynistic weirdo, but I want to see. Well, she evaded. Yeah, okay, automatic DQ for attacking your own uh, female manager. And it, 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 not a particularly harder shot from Austin, but... Okay, I, I wanted to see. The American fans and the fans of Chicago are the American the badass. This will be a main event, folks. Oh, right out of the gate. The major in the WWE hey, I got a much more involved um, leg braces than previously. I'm getting countered here. Will it be the brothers of well, tag out, you son of a bitch. They're giving me an objective that I can't complete till you tag out. I don't suppose that's true. I could be attacking Kane when he's not the legal man. Well, I can play as Triple. I'm trying to play as Triple H here. I'm trying to. You gotta believe that Austin and Triple H don't want to go face to face on a level. I was trying to tag in Triple H just for variety's sake, and I thought I'd hit the right buttons, but apparently not. Okay, I'm getting countered here. And a reversal. By Nate. Oh, you must. Damn it, if he keeps countering everything, how am I going to damage the arm? The only freaking way I know to reliably do that is with the uh, targeted grappling. Okay, let me see if it will allow me to tag in Triple H. Okay. Triple H, the robot warrior. That wasn't good. That was not good. Stephanie seemed upset. Oh no! Triple H still dazed. Oh no! Why does our commentary sound more rigid and weird than PS1 era games? That's probably not true, uh, since the PS1 era games didn't have uh, voice acting commentary at all. But it is like comparable to the PS2 games, and I don't understand why that would be. Oh, out of nowhere. And I just screwed that up. He's in big trouble. This could be huge. Oh man, I had a third counter attempt and I didn't even realize it, so I'm just not doing well here. Do I get uh, points when they damage my arm? Uh, I guess not. That was an oddly timed attack on my part. And I'm getting countered, of course. King almost destroyed him with that counter. Easily avoided. And I'm getting countered again. Oh, and it. Lord help us if Kane should tag out. Well, they did tag once. That's more than we've gotten out of... We've gotten one tag out of Kane. See, now he's countering again. Now he's out of counters, but unless I... Uh... Oh, God. He needs to have more male children. Will you get back up on the apron, you son of a bitch? I'm trying to tag you while his arm is... He's still not, like, able to counter. You're going to give him time to get all his fucking counters back. Well, maybe he'll counter you, and then he'll be out of counters again. That's... In a weird way, is what I was hoping for. 
some order to this match. And the ref starts the count. Okay, well, attack the fucking arm. Do it. God oh, damn it. We've heard torn ligaments. We've heard bone chips. The bursa sack. We've heard damage. It's actually going fairly well, though. Oh, the dreaded bursa sack. But here's the point, JR. We've always said that Kane is invincible, indomitable, impervious to pain. But Austin and Triple H know better. They know that Kane is vulnerable. They know that I don't want to pin him. I want to damage the arm. Yeah, see, that's the storyline. His arm is damaged. Now he's got the comeback. These are the breaks. Your comeback was fantastic, Kane. Really good job. He's getting this done inside the ring. Now remember, if I countered, damn it, loses the WWE title to obviously whoever pins it. The same goes for Triple H and his Intercontinental title. However, if Undertaker and Kane are pinned or submit, they will lose their tag team title, and there must be a winner in this match. So if, okay, so never mind, I guess. No matter who loses the by pinfall or submission, some title changes hands. Stunneroid. He's showing no signs of letting up. Stone Cold Steve. I see them both of my team guys have taken some damage. Undertaker fresh as a daisy, but uh, we've gotten to the point where Kane is now destroyed. So that's probably good. Because Kane won't tag out, I think, as long as our objective is to damage him. So in a weird way, my own incompetence is potentially helping. No, not damn. Okay, I switched over to it. I was accidentally pinning him, but now... He's got titanium testicles, but his arm is made of flesh and bone. All these titles on the line. All this money at stake. WWE title. Money, 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 money. Money. Tag on money. Titles, for God's sakes. Stephanie McMahon on the outside. Look a little concerned right now. Things are not going her way. I knew you'd notice her quickly. Wait, what? I thought she was like yeah, part of the McMahon Helmsley weirdo evil up. faction. Is, is she friends with Taker and Kane? Match. Man, I'm telling you, I don't know if I taunt the Undertaker. Wait a minute. Oh, my goodness gracious. Steel chair right across the arm. Of the big red machine. I'm not sure whose side she's supposed to be on if she's upset when Kane's Watch getting devastated. Watch it, Undertaker with the chair now. Oh, thank goodness. Referee got that chair away from the Undertaker. Referee asserting his authority here. It's a smart thing to try to keep some order as Austin is strategizing. It's kind of funny. It's like Kane Triple H and Steve Austin are pretty much outsmarting Taker and Kane. Kane is, as a Weekly Visitor and website once referred to him as a satard. He's like kind of satanic, but he's also supposed to be like functionally. That was a thing. He was like had this really low IQ. It was like something wrong with him. It's part of his character backstory. Damn it! Trying to, trying to set him up. Oh, never mind. I'm playing his triple. Oh shit! 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 Fucking fuck! fuck. God, I hate this game. Yes. yes! And it's going to take another, like, goddamn half hour to injure Kane's arm because he's going to reverse all ground grapples, and that's the only way to hurt the fucking arm. Uh. Not someone to sleep on. But yes, I did get confused about which bar I was at first, because, again, I'm... I keep getting one, like an opportunity to play this game for a few minutes at a time, and then I gotta do something else. So I'm not getting any opportunities to play, like actually get in the fucking groove. He makes, the tag. makes the tag! Holy fucking shit! That's so exciting! He just nailed him with that choke slam! Wow! Well, attack the arm, damn it! What are you dragging him all the way around the ring for? Hey, so effective! Okay, that. Counted as an attack on the arm, I guess. 
And it did as much damage as the damn ground-based grapple. So maybe I just need to keep stomping and hope that a, a large percent of them hit the arms. He's got him hooked. Triple H will help here. And the rest starting to bring some order to this match. In, in what way? Executed Damn, I'm getting my butt kicked here. When you get the ring, it's the match when you Triple get H just decided to turn around and watch. Working on the body here. Well, we're on the move here. And now I can't get turned around the right freaking direction. And I got countered. He almost got the shaft, and then bam! What a reversal! Eight. So he just broke the count, or what? Triple H doing absolutely nothing here. And the ref starts the count. And the ref starting to bring some order to this match. And there's the count. Three. Trying to attack the arm. Will it work? He's Shockingly, it does. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. Come on out here and break the count again, because despite all evidence, I've decided this is working. I did not mean to do that. But I didn't fucking mean to! Was I given no opportunities at all to counter that? I don't even know what the damn uh, hit the tiny little sub sliver of the kick out area even means for you. But I do know I'm doing significantly worse this time than I did last time. He loses the WWE title to obviously whoever pins it. The same goes for Triple H and his interview. But now I'm back into I tried to grapple him on the ground, and that was foolish because he's going to counter all those. Their tag team time, and there must be a winner in this match. You know, I've said this before, JR. He who has Kane, the known for has his uh, standing drop kick. He who has the power has the gold. No draws, no ties, Fuck. no kissing your sister here. I, it's all on the line. I'm having absolutely zero fun right now, just in case that's not apparent. That one went wide. Seriously, I'll take Here Comes the Pain over this shit any day. I did not go to the top rope! He's focusing on. I did not even... Why would you make it so you automatically go to the top rope if you run into the ring anywhere near the fucking corner? How can that not be something that you have to optionally select? And now Taker's going to come in and beat the shit out of Triple H. He's done fuck all this whole match. I don't know how I have more spirit than Kane. Considering that I've been taking a non-stop shit-kicking this whole time. I am not! What the fuck? I seriously just headed up to the top rope from inside the ring? I was trying to attack Undertaker. It sounded like somebody took a racket to a wet Oh my! Steve Austin! Obviously... Putting a lot of stock in that maneuver. I'm not sure I can watch this. Fucking finally. This probably has to be inside the ring. He's showing no signs of letting up. Yep. Turns it around on him and what a move. I'm taking like serious like limb damage all over the fucking place here. He forgot what came after six. Boston has really gained some ground here with this prodigious. Oh, look at this. And we're skipping that. Now we got a damage to Undertaker. At least Triple H got tagged in during all the cinematics since uh, I was doing a crap job of. With an unholy smack to the arm. An unholy smack to the arm. It's satanic, folks. It's cinematic, titanic, satanic.
The new satanic movie riffing thing. Okay, so he's not getting countered at all. And only now does Kane actually have arm damage? Man, you have to admire the teamwork. You keep doing Good this until play, they they, I didn't think they would put it together until it stops battle, working, I think. Well, these two men are on the same page. It's got to make Mr. McMahon happy. Who's not had a happy night, by the way, since his son Shane won the last man standing matchup. I can't believe that Triple H. That is Triple now H McMahon's is now McMahon's son. only son. How proud Mr. McMahon must be of Triple H. And I can't believe that. Okay, so Kane is somehow trapped in a pattern where he's not countering this, so. Okay, finally he's countering it. I shouldn't have said that, I guess. And there's the reversal. He's now going to try to tag out the Undertaker. The a AI in this game is a little bit... Uh, I'm assuming the Spine Buster is a signature move. Does a fuckload of damage, apparently. Now that's a finishing move, folks. It's actually not a finishing move. It's a signature move, but okay. Infinitely more effective, uh, Triple H, apparently. As Austin damaged Kane. Oh, come on, I went to a lot of trouble to see Austin get his butt kicked as thoroughly as he has. I'm now focused on Triple H, which doesn't seem that useful to me. He makes the tag. His partner's being punished, and he's seen enough. Actually, that's kind of not what's happening. His partner's hurt. His partner's in bad shape. He might have to finish this. Oh, nice counter. He's in full-on attack mode now. That's a little ridiculous. I was going for... I have like eight fucking finisher or signature or finisher. I was trying for... Uh-oh, come back, huh? There you go. Fuck you, Kane. Why didn't you run up top for no good reason there? So that gave me another finisher. That's why I didn't mind doing it too bad. Oh, I got a charge finisher. That that should be good. Not that shocking that Kane is, seems to be the guy who would take the fall in this match. Oh, and I bloodied him. To get the pin off the pedigree. I'm like trying to go after Triple H. Some offense. Looking for all the glory here. Why am I now being told to tag in Triple H? Fuck your right arm, too. I know it's your left arm that's injured, but... Can you get down here, buddy? Nubs. Nip. There we go. Oh my gosh. JR, there's Cinematic the time. In comes Triple H. Oh, no. Is uh, Kane going to be little spunky oh, baby face in peril Ricky Morton here? I guess he is. Triple H going down on Seth and he's fire. Sorry. Oh, my God. Don't say he's on fire. Kane is sensitive. Trip. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Howard Dean is calling this match. Austin's not, or he's not the legal man. Oh, that might he was. Now the referee has been murdered. Quick, help your ally Kane, Stephanie. Oh, wait. Stephen Blackman, wait! 
I'm having a slightly better time now. I don't know why there was a sign that had Cerebral Assassin written in black blood on a red background. That should be a DQ right there in this game. Well, the handle of the sledgehammer. A lot of people had fun making fun of Triple H's rubber hammer that he was using at this point. And Baron Count Compu Vince McMahon is really creepy looking throughout this whole series, I gotta say. Well, there you go, folks. Another match that consisted 90% of damage one guy and then watch a cinematic. I still enjoy going down memory lane with these games, even if I don't remember the storyline very well, but it's like, yeah, we got all your belts. Fuck you. Tensions rose among the two man power trip. Ooh, they turned on each other? Yeah, see, I got. The reason we lost is because Triple H is extremely selfish. A bigger battle had consumed WWE. Oh, we unlocked Stephanie McMahon. Blame us for wanting to own WCW and ECW. That was weirdly cut together. Are we going to get to see Stone Cold and uh, Kurt Angle wearing a little cowboy hat? Well, Kurt Angle wearing a little cowboy hat and Steve Austin wearing a full-size one? And the most disappointing storyline of all time. So I guess we're not doing this match. Yeah, I could do a whole video just talking about how crappy and underwhelming the Alliance storyline was. He's in some kind of weird vortex. Because Austin's inexplicably a good guy again. Oh, I believe I remember who won this, and it was a bit of a surprise at the time. Shouldn't be that surprising now, since it's history, but... Again, I guess we're skipping half these matches. We're just one match away from making history, but before the match could even I guess we're not having this match either. There's a lot of montages is explaining like four or five pay-per-views worth of storyline that they can't be bothered to have be part of the game itself. Oh, never mind. I guess we are going to play this match. It's just that we start out with everyone devastated. I wonder if that'll make it a really quick match. And here we go, folks. No, everyone's got full um undisputed championship match. Come on, Jericho just beat the rock. Can he get a little rest? Well, King, that's the luck of the draw. And Austin. I guess everyone's got full. I'm just gonna lose this one. I don't even care, because I'm gonna end the video. It's like the idea that Jericho just pins Austin instantly in the match. Vision mailed. And we're not going to try again right now because we can do that in a later video. So yeah, boy, I was in a surly mood midway through this video, but it picked up a bit. And that's the thing. i got to stop playing this game when I only have time to do one video. So as I get frustrated by each mini game the first time I come across it again, I don't have time to actually remember how to do any of them. 
but yeah, next time, folks, uh, yeah, that was a bit of a Alliance storyline. I mean, it, no, you, no storyline can be that disappointing unless you really built up in your mind over the years as a fan how cool it would be. But the idea of WCW fighting WWF or E or whatever, and then they threw ECW in too, which is because they were already starting to tell it was sucking. Um, just such a cool idea. It led to one of my favorite promos of all time where Paul Heyman did his like quasi-shoot promo on Vince and how he stole all of the Attitude Era ideas from, from ECW. And it ended with Taz choking out Paul Heyman for calling him a, an unfunny joke commentator and blah, blah, blah. It had its moments, but boy, the overall sense of that thing was just a stink burger. So the game was probably wise to go through that fairly quickly. But um, the fact that Stone Cold is now kind of inexplicably a babyface again, we'll pick up next time as we do battle with the hated heel Chris Jericho for you know to find out who will be the first ever unified champion because they split the titles at one point to be a world heavyweight title and a WWE title and then they reunified them and since that time they split them and reunified them again and I in theory before they had a WWE title versus a world heavyweight title they already had a unified title for the Fed so it's a bit silly but still official WWE history is that the winner of this match was the first ever unified champion who is that going to be we'll find out next time on the series JG thanks for watching I'll see you then. Bye-bye.